Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to Timothy, a true son in the faith, I urge you, remain in Ephesus, that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine, nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies. I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. Be an example to the believers. 1 Timothy 1, 1 to 4, 3, 15, 4, 12. Timothy 4, a godly example. As time went on, Timothy continued to grow spiritually and thus also grew in usefulness in the service of the Lord. Paul's first letter to him shows he left Timothy at Ephesus when Paul went on to Macedonia. Here in this important city where Paul had himself labored for three years, Timothy was to keep false teachers from subverting the saints with erroneous doctrine, especially wrong use of the law, which may still wrongly teach today to be the standard for the Christian's life. The law is not for righteous persons, but to convict the lawless and insubordinate. Chapter 1, 9 to 10. Timothy is given many other valuable reminders and instructions on subjects pertaining to godly order in the church assembly of the living God. From the teachings in this epistle, we see God's standards and directions for what he wants to see among his people as they live and walk and worship together. Roles of men and women, qualifications for leadership, relationships of social groups, godliness versus greed, and other vital subjects. Throughout this epistle, Timothy is reminded of what he must be as a young brother exercising responsible leadership. To be a godly example in every aspect of life cannot be overemphasized today either. Give attention to reading, exhortation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you. Meditate, take heed to yourself. Continue, honor, keep yourself pure, flee, pursue, fight the good fight of faith, and so much more. Eugene P. Vedder, Jr.